Be sure to watch Sitare every week to catch your favorite star profiles, celebrity interviews, community events, and more. Sitare TV. 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 Hello and welcome to Sitare TV. My name is Rohini and it gives me immense pleasure to showcase a very unique kind of fashion show organized by Enlightened India USA Media House. Now, what's so unique about this fashion show is that amidst all the pandemic situation and the corresponding lockdown and all the social distancing measures we all have been following, we have a bunch of very, very talented people who've come up with a very creative idea to organize a virtual fashion show where 27 models and wonderful kids walk the ramp just, that, just like the way they would do in a normal fashion show. The only difference being that the ramp is the driveway of their homes. I mean, if this isn't creativity, I don't know what is. <laughs>
So without further delay, let's hear more about it straight from the horse's mouth. We have with us here Swati Thakur, who's the director, choreographer, and the organizer of this virtual fashion show. Hello, Swati, and welcome to Sitari TV. How are you? I am doing great. You look gorgeous as always. Thank you so much. So do you. Thank you so much for having me on your show. No, no. Thank you for being here. So Swati, briefly tell us about your background and your experience in choreography. So I was very much into modeling. So I did quite a lot of modeling. And then I participated in many pageants. And I was also an ex-cabin crew in one of the reputed airlines in India, where during my uh, job, I was groomed by Bebel Bhagat, Nikki Mehta, Asha Hariharan, and Rukshana Aisa. I was also one of the winners in Times of India style icon, where we were mentored by the fashion guru, Laval Prabhu. And last year, um, you know, during the same time, I think exactly this day back in last year may uh, we had organized a unique pageant on the concept maharani of atlanta uh, which was my brainchild and with bollywood uh, with famous bollywood actress pariniti chopra being wow. the chief of the event and i have also organized fashion shows at uh, concerts and shows where bollywood icon saif ali khan has performed I've also choreographed uh, shows for Bollywood designers, um, Archana Kocher, uh, who's uh, uh, from India, and several designers here in USA. And mostly my shows are based on themes and unique concepts, and they're completely entertaining. So whenever I have done a fashion show, so I like to have a theme, I like to have a concept, and then I like to work upon it. And it's not like that, you know, like, uh, you know, you're going for a fashion show, the models come, walk the ramp and just go away. It's not that. I like it to make it very entertaining with some dance, with some skate and all that. So that's how I present my fashion show. That is amazing, Swati. So like we all have seen in the past that you've come up with the most unique ideas in fashion choreography, like, for example, like you mentioned, the Maharani of Atlanta. So tell our viewers more about your thoughts and your ideas behind this virtual fashion show you recently organized. Okay. Um, so there is this glamour in fashion magazine uh, called Enlighten India USA Media House, which is based out of Mumbai, India. Uh, they have been covering all the Bollywood celebrities and models on their cover page since the last decade. So uh, Mr. F Mr. Mustafa Ajmeri ji, who is the president, and Mr. Mitesh Mehta, the CEO of Enlighten India, USA Media House, approached me last month to come up with a short video during this time of quarantine. And they completely laid their crest on me saying, Ki, uh, Swati ji, you know, we completely trust your concepts and theme which you have done in the past. So please come up with something really unique and uh, which we can have all the models, take all the models from Atlanta, need not be from, you know, like particularly model model, but yeah, they can be any stay at home mom, they can be any professional ladies who want to participate and have some fun. So um, then after lots of brainstorming, I decided, okay, let's, you know, why not, um, you know, come up with a theme called She Rose, you know, um, She Rose means a blend of she and heroes dedicated to all the women who have been juggling between their work from home and household chores and taking care of, uh, of their um, kids, their spouses, elderly, and doing all the household, you know, like uh, managing everything around them. And most importantly, being very optimistic, you know, during this time of pandemic. So that's how we decided on this concept and hence she rose the theme. <laughs> and uh, the other idea which I was very eager to do is create a virtual fashion show wherein, you know, uh, the viewers can enjoy watching a fashion show by being in comfort of their home. And, uh, you know, so that's how we synchronized and we had uniformity in our models, walk and everything and their background, their location and everything. So, you know, we wanted to create a virtual fashion show, you know, where you see one model coming in, the other model going back, you know, two coming in, then are going back at the same time. So, which nobody has done till now, you know, like, you know, nobody has done this kind of fashion show ever. So this is first of its kind and very, very unique. So, yeah, so we came up with this virtual fashion show called She Rose, you know, which is dedicated to all the strong women. That is amazing, Swati. Congratulations on this unique idea. That's really, really creative. 
Thank you now, so much. like we all know, nothing great comes easy. So tell us more about the challenges you faced while organizing this virtual show. So there were many, you know, it wasn't easy since we think that conducting, you know, a fashion show on the ramp uh, is a, it's, you know, it's a huge task only, you know, like, um, yes, you know, you organize a fashion show, which is, you know, where you have the real audience, uh, you know, the real model working for you, and then you have all your production behind the scene working. So that is a challenge in time. But no, you know, organizing this virtual fashion show itself was very challenging. And first of all, the coordination amongst the 27 models, you know, be the camera angle, the walk, the background, location, you know, everything we had to, you know, coordinate and have the uniformity. But uh, yeah, so it was not an easy task doing this virtual fashion show. We had to, you know, have a lot of synchronization amongst us. Oh, I bet. So Swati, tell us, tell our viewers about this. How do you manage to bring the best skills in every model while also trying to synchronize all of them virtually? Like to me, it surely sounds like a big, big challenge. <laughs> so Roini, um, every person, you know, every human being is different from, you know, another. And so is every model. So a trained, a talented model tends to be aware of their body and their posture and their position, their walk and everything. They are able to move gracefully, perform effortlessly in front of others and let their personality shine without inhibition. Similarly, in our video, we had our models from, you know, different and various backgrounds and professions. Synchronizing them all was a challenge in itself. So when you're doing a virtual, you know, fashion show or any show for that matter, where we have a time limit on our video, you know, like which has to be done within 10 minutes and in, I mean, a 10 minute video with three different rounds and have their various profiles and angles. However, I was very clear while giving them instruction regarding the walk synchronization. Like, you know, I told them for how many seconds they need to walk, then pose, then turn and then go back and pose. So, you know, stay. so we have to be very clear with the instruction. So we did a couple of, you know, like trials and, you know, we tried to do little, you know, rehearsals and then we tried to give them instructions. And trust me, you know what, you know, they all were so talented, all these ladies, they cooperated so well and they all nailed it, you know, they came up with amazing videos and, you know, they, you know, just send me everything. And uh, then, you know, it was again to, you know, highlight everyone's feature and their best profile, which was taken care during the editing and trimming of the video. So, you know, that's how we uh, started and that's how, you know, we had to, you know, bring out their best skills and then, you know, synchronize, synchronize them all virtually. That's amazing. So Swati, finally, tell all our viewers, when can we see this virtual fashion show in reality? Uh, so, well, um, you know, the production house, the, you know, like um, Enlighten India, uh, USA media house. So um, they have, you know, they want, they were so impressed after looking at this video and when they posted on their social media on various uh, channels, you know, they got a very good response. And overnight, our video was very viral and everyone was raving about it. And uh, so after looking at the success of it, you know, so Enlighten India, Mr. Mitesh Mehta, who's the CEO, and Mr. Mustafa Ajmeri Ji, they were very kind enough and they were so excited about this project. So they have decided by end of this year, hopefully if the situation comes back to normal, you know, they're planning to organize one, you know, in USA, in Atlanta, where all the 27 models would be walking on the ramp. And not only that, you know, uh, the winner of this contest will be, you know, will be lucky to be featured on the cover page of Enlighten India. So thanks to Enlighten India, you know, for supporting us, being there and motivating all of us, you know, to do this video and giving us that platform. No, Swati, thank you so much for speaking to Satara TV. And once again, congratulations you. on your great, great, great work. Thank you so much, Rohini. It was such a pleasure talking to you. And I wish you the best for all your future endeavors. We also want to thank Sitara TV for how, for how graciously they accepted to air this interview on their channel. And all the best, Swati, for everything you do in the future. Thank you, Rohini, and thank you, Sitara TV, for having me on your channel. Stay home and stay safe, everyone. Thank you, Rohini. I'm Rohini Mukherjee, and you're watching Sitara TV. Thank you. Bye-bye. Be sure to watch Sitara every week. To catch your favorite star profiles.
Celebrity interviews. Community events. And more. Sitare TV. 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 Sitare TV.